guys, welcome back to Nifty World. A happy new year to you all. And we are talking today about Tezos. Uh, yes, we'd love to give you those updates on what the Tezos blockchain is doing. And today, to kick off the new year is no different. We've got three top stories that have come from the baking sheet, which is Tezos' main resource for giving you all of that news from the blockchain. And it's bringing you some big news in the world of sports, in the world of music, and also in the world of art as well. So if you're a fan of any of those things, stay tuned because we're going to dive right in. Okay, so we are going to kick off with a little bit of chat about art. Yes, art is always the big topic of conversation when it comes to the world of NFTs. And you know what? At the end of last year, there was a massive opportunity for people who are considering themselves serious art collectors to actually get something very unique and very much uh, for their own for free. And this is uh, something that came out of Art Basel in Miami, a huge, huge um, art fair, which you can kind of go and discover. It happens all around the world, but Art, art Basel in Miami has been particularly uh, pertinent within the Web3 community because of what it has going on there and lots of NFT and digital artworks happening there. But you would be able to, if you visited this, to mint a generative NFT uh, minted on the Tezos blockchain. Now, this is interesting because a generative NFT, for anyone who doesn't know, is an NFT that is created by an algorithm that randomly selects pre-designed art layers. So no two NFTs are ever going to be the same. No two NFTs are ever the same anyway, but it's in a way that it is being created. And this is a particularly unique way of being created in itself. So Tezos basically exhibited at the Art Basel Fair um, it, it, with a live minting experience um, and you can basically get a design by three top artists and they are we can see here this is what happened at art Basel in miami this is tezos's uh presence there stepping stones by tyler boswell uh, uh udney if that's how you pronounce it or udne uh by dist collective um aka dist c and then whispers in code by Iv by ivana tau so this is something, this is your chance to own something very, very unique. There were only two and a half thousand NFTs that were minted at this. And NFTs that have been minted at other Art Basel um, fairs, and we can see this here, we've had lots of different fairs before um, and taking place. They happen in Hong Kong and also Paris. And these have happened and sold on the secondary market for hundreds of dollars. So just for showing up, you might end up walking away with something that you could possibly sell if you wanted to or hold on to, to hope it, you know, ups its value uh, by quite a considerable amount. Um, and it's a great way to onboard serious collectors into the space as well. So if you are an art fan and you're thinking of going to any of the art basils in the future, make sure you look out for Tezos and all of the incentives that it has to offer. It might just surprise you with a freebie. So next on my list is more freebies for fans actually. And this comes from the sporting world and Manchester United. So if you are a football fan or a soccer fan for friends of ours across the pond, then this might have been the experience for you guys because Manchester United had launched its first NFT collection through Tezos. Uh, they announced it on socials, as you can see here, um, and fans basically get to uh, use their Tezos wallets to claim these free NFTs. And um, it's the first NFT from Manchester United that offers a key uh, to uh, fans to access rewards free of charge, which is really, really impressive. So there are three tiers of rarity. We've got a classic tier, a rare tier, and an ultra rare uh, key tier as well. And this will be distributed to the fans at random. So everyone has a decent chance of winning something out of this. All you have to do is be a fan. And actually the English Premier League as well has launched its own virtual world, which will work in tandem with this. So you can then use those keys to access exclusive channels on Discord. You can use it to access um, lots of different rewards and competitions. And this essentially is a great example of how we are seeing uh, brands like Manchester United uh, really enhance their customer engagement. And this is a big thing. This is the next level of how people are gonna use the Web3 space to really provide more for their community and their fans as well. And remember, if the rarer uh, that you have the uh, NFT, so if you have got one of those ultra rare ones, the bigger the rewards and competitions are. So, you know, there's loads of different opportunities where you can 
get things from certain brands, but when they're as big as Manchester United, one of the biggest football or soccer uh, uh, soccer teams in the world, you're gonna be getting something pretty good. Now moving from the world of sport to the world of music. And we've talked about uh, One Of before, which is a great platform and marketplace for lots of different NFTs, but they have decided to really take on the archives of Led Zeppelin and a Led Zeppelin collectible series has been announced um, and one, sele- one, one version of it has already sold out. It's been that popular. So the collection is essentially digital. It pairs real world physical memorabilia with a digital certificate of authenticity or an NFT. And that means that you can own a moment in rock history. Now, if we look at one of, we know that it is kind of the place to go on the Tesla's blockchain where you can go and access NFTs um, from everything from the world of sports, the world of music, movies, beyond you know individual artists as well use this uh, to to mint their own particular uh, nfts it is really really doing something special and very well respected and led zeppelin i mean these guys are iconic so it's also going the collection itself is going to feature as you can probably see here a unique collection taken by the photographer uh, jay thompson who uh, basically photographed the band during a very infamous stay at Chateau Marmont in Hollywood uh, back in 1969. Um, And you'll get access to this. You'll also get um, a pair of original uh, vintage tickets from the Led Zeppelin Chicago Stadium concert in 1980, which was actually canceled due to the death of its drummer. Uh, It was canceled very suddenly because of this. It's uh, come, drummer John Bonham uh, sadly died and they had to cancel it. So you'll get um, a ticket stub from that. Um, so there are loads and loads of um, things that you'll be able to um, to access. There we go. Those are the Chicago Stadium ticket stubs. How cool are they? So if you're into the world of digital collectibles and you're a big fan of music, this is a great example. And this is just some of the big stories that are coming out of the baking sheet week on week. So if you're wanting to stay on top of things, make sure you check them out. Well, there we have it, three big stories. And if you wanna learn more about the Tezos blockchain, then make sure firstly you check out the baking sheet for all of your up-to-date news week on week, but also make sure you check out videos like these, everything from learning how to set up your own Tezos wallet all the way through to learning about what the big movers and shapers in the space are doing as well. But for now, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.